Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancer, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Cancers for their highest and greatest good. All right, so your person is showing up as the chariot, Cancerian energy. They're also showing up as the five of pentacles. So this is somebody who's coming right for you. Uh, they might be moving to where you are or recently moved to where you are. Again, that's not gonna be for all of you, but um, this person has experienced difficulties in love. Ooh, what they like about you is your Cancerian energy, the Queen of Cups. And you might be dealing with a Pisces, somebody with strong water in their chart. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady, wins the race here. Um, this is somebody who's going to very easily get onto the same page with you, Cancer. This is somebody steady, strong, dependable, hardworking. Um, let's see what's going on here. This person may have a dog or may work with like, um, um, like animal rescue is what I'm getting. Animal welfare. Maybe just they volunteer. Um, let's see. Some of you might meet this person walking the dog. All right. So they, this person's definitely, they're very creative. I feel like they're very strong. I feel they're quite passionate. Um, I feel like this person, you're going to feel quite at ease with this person, Cancer. Hmm. Yeah, this person gets a lot of attention. They might be doing quite well for themselves right now. Maybe they have a social media following, um, maybe in business. Um, but this person does get a lot of attention. I do think that they're quite successful. Whatever they do, they're passionate about it is what I'm getting. And we see the Ace of pen Pentacles, which is saying there's a lot of potential for something solid, something strong, something stable. Um, and this person is looking to build with someone. And we see the Knight of Cups. So I also see that they're quite romantic. They're quite dreamy. Um, hmm, I love this energy for you, Cancer. I feel like you can very easily or will very easily fall in love with this person. All right. So let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my Cancers, please, regarding this person. This is somebody who's going to take their time getting to know you and really build. They want to grow. They want to build something solid and stable and secure here. Okay, so this person may have a close-knit relationship with their mother, whether she's alive or if she's crossed over. All right. This person may also have a little boy. This person is deeply committed to your connection. Again, whatever they do, they're passionate about it. And they're strong. They can, they are, they're definitely going to be your ride or die. They can be counted on to have your back. And they could have strong fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Okay. And we also see Gemini. Okay. So some of you, they might be a Gemini Cancer cusp. Okay. What else do we need to know about this person? Five of Pentacles. I do feel too, this person might be self-made. They might have, you know, had humble beginnings. I'm also seeing this person has been significantly disappointed in love. Um, so it could be a broken engagement there. I don't think it's recent, recent, but in their, in their past, in their recent past, this person, they're looking for love cancer. And I, I feel like this is going to be a strong watery connection for many of you. This person may have gray hair. Okay. They could be quite young when they started getting gray hair, or they might be a little bit on in years. This person's artistic and creative. Yep, that was coming through in the beginning. And this person may speak multiple languages. And they may have long hair or they really like your hair, Cancer. If you have long hair, I think they're going to be, they're going to compliment you on that. They're going to um, like your hair. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. What else do we need to know about this person? How else will my Cancers be able to identify this person? I'm seeing long brown hair for some of you. Hmm. So I'm not going to take all of those, although this does say they have been in your proximity at least once in the last six months. Okay. And they may have three siblings. For some of you, they may have always dreamed of having three children. Okay. 
They have a triple syllable, first, middle, or last name. Pay attention to the number sequence 33 coming through Cancer. They could be 33 years old. Maybe you are. Um, but you just might be seeing that number sequence when in regards to this connection. They may speak with an accent. So again, they might the language you speak with them may not be their native language. All right. Or they could be from a different city, state, or country. And their first name begins with a vowel. I'm also seeing all of this blue watery energy. So I'm sorry, their first middle or last name may begin with a vowel. But pay attention to this baby blue color. It could be the color of their eyes. It might be what they're wearing. You see she's got that baby blue dress on. She's got kind of this bluish top. He's got a blue, she's got a blue top on. So they, this person might, again, really like wearing jeans or they wear a lot of blue or it's their favorite color. Really speaking to me here, that, that baby blue color. Um, and this person may have a severe allergy. Okay. It could be to something that, you know, food, it could also just be when allergy season comes around, um, you know, not, they're not happy, <laughs> happy campers at all. All right. Let's see clear messages and guidance for my cancers, please. All right. This person is going to be bold and confident. They're going to make the first move. They're going to ask for your number. All right. They are emotionally available. They're open. They're honest. They're ready for love. Yeah. I just saw the Ace of Cups here in my mind's eye there. And this person might be stocky or a little bit more solid, strong, and they're not your usual type, Cancer. Okay. And remember, physical attributes are not going to necessarily resonate with all of you. Okay. So, but they are going to resonate for some of you and be clear indicators as to who, who this person is, especially if you already know who they are. What this person loves about you, Cancer, is your Cancerian energy. You know, that nurturing, creative, compassionate, strong energy. And I think this is going to be a very intuitive and telepathic connection. Okay, the Five of Cups. A lot of you, this person, um, I, I feel you, there, there have been some serious disappointments in love. Pay attention to the number sequence 5-5. Five, five. You know, you may have... You may mirror each other in that regards, like maybe both of you have had broken engagements or divorces, um, but the five of cups here tells me this person is your two of cups. You might meet them when you're kind of feeling like giving up cancer, like giving up on love or just having recently been disappointed, or maybe they have, okay? And they love the way you talk. They also love the way you communicate, that you can handle many different things at once, um, this person has a lot of love for you, but they also love your intensity um, because we see that they're deeply committed and they're quite intense and they're going to really pick up on that from you as well. And a lot of my cancers, you're not going to see this coming with the Ace of Swords there, um, but it does feel like it's someone brand new for, for the vast majority of you. It is somebody that you have never dealt with before. Okay. That I do think they're, it's going to be quite unexpected for both of you. Um, all right, let's see what else they love about my cancers, please. Clear messages and guidance. What do they love about my cancers? All right, so they love that you consider other people's feelings and that you're trustworthy, that you're not a gossip. All right, that you're, yeah, like you're trustworthy, you have integrity. You don't really involve yourself in like too much drama is what I'm getting. And uh, cancer, they also see you as, yeah, um, they see you, they see you, they see this connection as a new lease on life. Like this is a, this is like a new cycle in love. Um, you know, you, your head and shoulders above anybody and everybody they've been with or dated before. And, um, they, they see this as like, I, I don't want to say like salvation because it's like, they're not waiting to be saved, but they see this as just like, wow, this is what I've been waiting for. You know, this is divine intervention. They're going to see this as such a powerful connection and just you as such a powerful force of love, affection, and support in their life. And we do see the, the angel, um, this angelic energy that they see you as an earth angel here. But we also see this hedonist energy and they love your creativity. They, they're going to love embracing the good things in life, sharing, you know, the lush, the luxurious things good food, good drink, you know, good love making, um, and that you both like really nice things. You're going to have similar tastes as well, but you're going to enjoy doing, doing things together is what I'm getting. You know, whether that's just chilling at home or whether it's like making dinner, or going out, like you two are going to really just get each other, feel comfortable 
and loved in each other's presence. So some of you, this person is a Pisces, the hanged man. I do see this as a very spiritual connection. Um, I also feel it's going to be a healing connection for both of you. Um, because I do see you both have had these disappointments in love. Um, and so this just is going to be very transformative. Okay, this rejection is actually divine protection. So again, somebody here might have recently been rejected, whether that's you or your person. Somebody might be healing from a rejection. Again, this is going to kind of sweep you off your feet, Cancer, when you're least expecting it. Okay, and firm boundaries are needed now. And it's time to decide about this relationship, okay? So some of my Cancers, you may have a decision here between multiple people. But I do see that this is somebody absolutely worth fighting for, worth investing in, or at least giving a chance, taking your time, getting to know this person. Because I do feel like it can be a very healing connection. I also feel like, you know, you're going to understand why other connections didn't work out in the past. With this energy of boundaries, I feel like it is really important to not lose yourself in any connection. Don't act too quickly. Don't act like the wife or the girlfriend or the husband or the boyfriend before you know what they're, what they're really truly giving you. But I feel like this person wants to give you everything and they want to give you this um, stability and security is what I'm picking up on. Um, but the decision, Cancer, is ultimately going to be yours if you're feeling ready and you're feeling healed, if this feels in alignment with you. All right, so let's see what else my Cancers need to know about this connection. It's going to be a psychic connection. I, I came out with that earlier on in the reading. So your connection, your communication goes beyond mere words. All right. And we see a material attachment. This to me is always don't judge a book by its cover. This person feels so right for you. And some elements of this relationship are hidden. So again, this might be a secret admirer. Um, you know, we may not be meant to know. We may not meant be meant to know. Does that sound right? We may not. Well, anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. We may not, we're, we're not supposed to maybe know. <laughs> Cancers, my goodness. I, you know, all day it's been like this. So I do apologize. <laughs> maybe we're not meant to know any more details here again, except for there's some things that are going to be hidden here. And I think it's mostly, you know, that this person feels different than your usual type. Um, but they're going to be very right for you on many levels. All right. So we see August. So some of you, this person might be born in August. We see that strong fire energy and spirit saying, take steps to speed it up. And the steps that we can take to speed anything up cancer are just letting go of negative attachments, you know, being the highest, best versions of ourselves, focusing on our, you know, our health, our wealth, our happiness. That's going to really, you know, turn your heart light on so the right people or, or person can see you. So I see this as a beautiful connection coming your way, Cancer. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.